Nearly 200 patients pass through this emergency room at Toronto's Sunnybrook Hospital on a typical day. And staff noticed a problem. Patients that come in, they need to be medically worked up, but they don't necessarily need to stay in this acute right. level of care for any long period of time. Particularly with frail elderly patients, ER doctors are sometimes reluctant to send them home. There are patients who maybe we felt because of their risk of falls, they need to stay in hospital. And then, Sean, if I can engage you. Sunnybrook's solution? Creating this team that looks beyond the hospital to ensure those ER patients can be safe at home. Um, apparently his wife heard a bang this morning, found her husband on the bathroom floor. A geriatric nurse, a social worker, a physiotherapist, staff from home care agencies, all part of what Sunnybrook calls its ED1 team. Every morning they walk through their target group of emergency room patients. So they come in with different syndromes, they come in with falls, they come in with delirium, depression. The team runs seven days a week, setting up home care and other health supports straight from the ER. We've been able to get patients mobilized, connect them to community resources and make sure that they're going home safely in the evening instead of staying overnight or being admitted to hospital. It's part of an effort to reduce the demands on Sunnybrook, struggling like many Ontario hospitals with more patients than beds. Sunnybrook's team launched in October and is already showing signs of success, a nearly 5% drop in admissions among patients aged 70 and older. We really are able to reduce the number of patients who are in hallways in our emergency department as well as the number of patients who are stuck in the waiting room. It makes this busy ER a little less busy and makes patients happier not to spend the night in hospital. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.